Hello, it's Adonis Turner of Adonis Power and Conditioning, and I want to give you guys a quick gym update. Uh, right now, we are about, um, let's see, we opened on May 27, so we have been open for 27 days, and we have 10 members right now and five personal training clients, so great progress to this point. Uh, I'm trying to average about 10 members or 10 new members a month uh, for the next 12 months. That's my personal goal. Um, also, you know, not necessarily just we're focusing on numbers, but focusing on meeting needs of the people that come here, whether it is online coaching, personal training, or just making sure they continue to come to the gym. But right now, um, the people that are here, they come pretty consistently, at least uh, three days a week, sometimes two, but consistent, consistently every single week. And um, I follow up with them every so often to make sure they're achieving their goals. So if accountability is something you're looking for or if it's the difference between you coming to the gym or not um, you just need someone to follow up with you um, that's something you'll get here another thing is my um, I recently got um, tested for body fat percentage and weight loss two days ago and this is something I do every two I'm going to start or I started in April and then I will do every two months to make sure I know you know where I'm at health wise at all times and I dropped from 268.6 to 244.2 in a matter of 61 days, roughly, um, which as far as calorie restriction is a little bit too fast. Um, something I teach is always, um, depending on body weight, it can vary from 300 calories to 1,000 calories as far as deficit that you wanna be in to preserve as much muscle mass as possible because if you're too much of a deficit, you're gonna burn your muscle along with the fat. Um, I was at a 1400 calorie deficit for the past two months, which I'm surprised I wasn't starving every single day. So just doing simple math, um, I'm going to slowly up the calories to, to close that energy gap. That way I can eat more but still lose weight. So as opposed to a 1400 calorie deficit, um, I'll be at like maybe closer to six, five to 800 over a course of um, maybe six weeks or so. I'm just gonna add 100 calories a week, every single week um, until that time. That, and then once I get a new maintenance and I figure where that is, I'm gonna start dieting again. Um, but until then, I'm just going to lose weight essentially by eating more as well. So that's kind of, a, it's kind of nice, honestly, to add calories during your diet. Um, it's a term called reverse dieting, which I'll be go I'll have a video exclusively for for the next um, and sometime next week. But I'm working on that. Another thing is we have an open gym coming up just on Saturday from 12 to 2 p.m. So if you have anyone that is looking to work out again that hasn't in a while, or if you just want to do something fun, free on a Saturday, uh, come. It's open to everyone, 12 to 2 p.m., two hours. You get to talk to me, work out for free, ask for any fitness tips or advice. I'm, I'm going to be available for everyone. Um, also, for my own training again, I will resume back to my, um, I don't know which number of passion is, whether it's first, second, or third, but my passion of powerlifting training. And I'll be doing a meet. There's a meet I saw in August, and there's one in October. So... I'm going to try to figure out if I want to do the one in August for sure, and then um, I'll let you guys know um, as far as um, which meet I'll be doing and um, if you want to, to follow it live or whatever, because I'll be filming it either meet live. So I'm happy about that. I wasn't sure. And the main reason I'm doing this is because since I'm closing that energy gap with and this is something I'll talk about in another video, that way it doesn't get too confusing. But essentially, since I'm not diet, dieting as severely as I would be, so I'm cutting that 1,400 calories, which is almost a half a pound a day, all the way down to probably 800 or 500 eventually, I'll be having more energy to fuel my workouts, which will result in better performance for said workouts. I'll still be doing conditioning work, um, just to you know, get more lean and get more toned. Um, as the, the cool people say, um, but, but yeah, another thing I want to say is that still everyone gets one free personal training session, everyone gets two weeks of online coaching, and everyone gets to try my gym one time for free to see if it's for them. Um, 
I'm not a fan of, you know, pressuring people to buy. So I say very little about like, oh, that you should do this gym instead of that gym. No, you just try it one time. And if you want to sign up, become a personal trainer, or if you want to become a personal training client or coach, you'll, you'll let me know. Um, that way there's no sales pressure because I know people don't like salesmen and I try to create that fine line to where I'm sharing like, here's my gym, you may like it. If it doesn't benefit you, then you, you'll just go somewhere else. You'll just let me know or you won't let me know. So um, I always like to keep that very, very professional, very, 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 very respectful because I know a lot of people get put in corners that they don't want to be in. So these open gyms, these free personal training sessions and online coaching, these um, offers, I don't know if anyone else is doing it, that's not none of my business or important, but what I'm doing is to share how I can help you guys. Because um, once I get too busy, where I'm having 40 or 50 hours uh, personal training clients a week, which is a personal goal of mine eventually within the first two years, then those free sessions are no longer gonna be free initially because I'll be too busy. But while I'm not busy, I encourage you, um, even if you don't usually do this style of training where it's more strength and conditioning, where you're going to be stronger, get better, lose weight, gain muscle, whatever your goals are, even if you don't strive towards that and you do something, maybe you do nothing or maybe you do something a little bit more passive, um, I still encourage you to try something new because it couldn't hurt. Um, um, so that's pretty much it, guys. So stay tuned for the next video, Open Gym Saturday, and also stay tuned for my next workout summary, which will be either tomorrow or Saturday. And at the Open Gym, there'll be a contest, there'll be four contests, um, I forget exactly which one they are. There's a 135 pound squat max rep for a minute, 135 pound deadlift max rep for a minute as well. And then there's a, there's a tire flip, I believe, for a minute or distance, I can't remember. And then you also can pull the tank at the highest level for a certain distance. And it's going to be a point system. So whoever, you know, first will get a certain amount of points, second will get a certain amount of points. Um, I still have to figure out those details. But just come here, have fun. Um, you'll enjoy it because I'm going to enjoy it. I don't know if I'm going to compete. I kind of want to watch and observe. Um, not that I'm scared or anything, <laughs> but I, it's, it kind of conflicts with my workout programming, but we will see, I might compete, I might not, but I kind of want to help and, you know, talk to people and, you know, be available for people who need training and also see the competition myself and kind of, you know, have a spectator point of view. That way I'm not too competitive because I can <laughs> become a different person when I'm competitive, but Stay tuned for next video and thanks for watching guys and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and leave me some feedback. Peace.